Hi guys. Uh, we're doing volume and surface areas of spheres, which is a really cool topic. Let me start with what the volume is. It's four thirds pi r cubed. Um, and that's like if I filled this ball with paint, how much paint I would have. The surface area is four pi r squared. And that's if I painted the outside with paint, how much paint I'd have, right? And volumes usually have cubes, surface areas usually have squares because volumes are three-dimensional and areas are two-dimensional. So even if you were finding the volume of like a cube, it would be S cubed, side cubed, right? But the surface area would be six S squared, which would be, you know, an area. Um, at some point in your life, you'll learn that if I bring this three down and cancel it out with this three and make the three down, bring the three down to a two, that'll give me the surface area. In other words, you'll learn in calculus that the surface area is the derivative of the volume. That's a really interesting fact you'll understand one day. But in the meantime, go watch a video on YouTube about where volume and surface area come from. They're really cool um, you'll, uh, for spheres, for spheres. You'll see, you'll see a really, you'll see a way better uh, visual than I can show you right now. So let's use the formula in these problems. Uh, we're going to do 4 thirds uh, pi, so 3.14. And then r is 8, because don't get tricked, right? It's half of that cubed. So it'll be 4 times 3.14 times 8 times 8 times 8 divided by three. And I'll get 2143.57, because they want us to round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, how about this? What is the volume? We've got four here, four thirds times 3.14 times four cubed. Okay, so that, in theory we could do four times four times four times four thirds times 3.4, but the miracle of technology. 267.95. Okay, how about 10? Well, this one actually isn't so bad to do by hand. So you know what? Maybe we should just because this is a respectable problem to do by hand. Uh, 4 thirds times 3.14 times r, which is 10 cubed. But what makes 10 cubed good is that it, it, it's easy to work with, right? So we get 4 thirds times 3 point. What does 10 cubed do? Right, it moves the decimal place over by three, right? So three, one, four, zero. Still not sure I want to do this by hand, to be honest with you. But so it's four thirds times three thousand one hundred and forty. Okay. So actually we can kind of just guesstimate at this point, right? Like if that were three thousand, right, then four thirds would be four thousand, right? Mm, unfortunately, that's not enough because a lot of these are a little bit above 4,000. So let's just go use this. 10 cubed. Again, we, we could we could do it by hand, but 4186.67. 4186.67, which is the bottom right. Okay, what is the volume? Well, it is four thirds times pi. That's, there's no bar there. Pi, don't get confused. R is six, right? Six cubed. So for the four thirds pi, six cubed. I'll just change this 10 to a six. No one will be upset. 904.32. You might wonder, wonder why that decimal was nicer. Well, that's because the six and the three canceled out in a nice way, and we didn't have like a dot, 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 dot. Um, so that'll give us 904.32, which is this one. 
Ah, surface area. Okay. So now these are a little bit easier, right? Because they don't have that divided by three and they only have a squared. So it's four times pi times r squared. So in this case, it would be times 16, right? Because that's four squared. So we could do this as 64 times 3.14. And we could work this out. And you know what? I'll just do one. So 16, uh, that gives us a one here. So that's a five. And that will give us 12. And then we'll have 24. 6, 8, 18, so it gives us a 6, 9, 0, right, 0, 2. And then we ended up with two decimal places, so it should be 200.96. We did one by hand. We feel good about that, right? Okay, how about this? Okay, we definitely do not need a calculator for this one. Right, we're gonna do four times, we, we didn't need a calculator for any of them, we're just being lazy. Four times 3.14 times 10 squared. And this is a great one because that's 100. So that's just gonna make this decimal place go over two. So it's just gonna be four times 314. And we can do that, right? Let's do that, 314 times four will give us a six, we'll get a one there. Uh, that'll give us a five, and we'll get 12. And we have two decimal places. So it should be 12.56. I don't know why I put that decimal here, right? We didn't, we already got rid of that decimal, right? So there's no decimal, it's just 1256. One, two, five, six. All right, hopefully you had fun. Definitely do look up uh, surface areas of spheres on YouTube and you'll see some really cool stuff. All right, have a great one.